Good morning, everyone. Today we're going to be playing some Final Fantasy XIV. We're going to do the Your Dark Apocalypse uh, Part 2. Before we do that, I want to check my tombstones. Okay, so we're almost capped out on tombstones. Let's go spend those before we continue. Over to your more. Oh, let's uh, put my phone on mute before I forget. There we go. Alright, so we need two rings. And earring and the weapon. Deep Shadow Gear, I think, is what we want. Or is it Crypto... Crypto Lurker? Okay, it's Crypto Lurker we want. We need Crypto Lurker's War Axe. Which we don't have. Alright, so let's get the earring. Earring offending. And two rings. Ring offending. And ring offending. Then we can get the axe. Augmented Crypto Lurker's War Axe. Alright, that should be a full gear set. Equip, 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 equip. Here we are, full 350. No, 530. And an axe that matches. Nice. Then we can use this. Get that in our inventory. And back to Armoring. No, 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 not Armoring. We want Calusia. Soul still tied. Yep, now we've only got 500 currency, so we won't overflow now. And we fly up. Over here. Excavation tunnels. Now I'm not entirely sure how I'm fitting through these doors. Well, I'm definitely crawling through at this point. We enter the tunnels. And now we can start the quest. An academic dispute. Anog won't be kept from the secrets of the ruins a moment longer. Ready? Trick question. Don't care. Let's go. You're an Ari. Quest accepted. Just think, machines equal to man. No, perhaps even greater. If we can find the key, we can figure out how to, how they work. We can fix 2P, and then... And what? Slow down and use your head. 
How are we to know that any of what she said it was true? Oh, we would have us sit on our hands instead of pursuing the untold power that sleeps in these ruins. Twiddle our thumbs while others race ahead and claim the prize. I am as intrigued as you are, but I would not have us put our blind faith in someone we've only just met, particularly someone making such wild claims. We were to bring this key to her. There's no telling what she might do with it. Hey, Purple Lorax, how you doing? I'd be doing good. Stream yesterday was pretty good. Played some Morrowind and... The game crashed once. We didn't lose much progress there. Um, like we caught back up in about 10 minutes, so it's alright. But yeah, Morrowind's pretty good. Humph. If you want to be a coward, be my guest. I'll be boldly forging a path forward as, if you call, we planned to do. And if you can secure 2P's continued assistance, all the better. What about you? You can either dive into the great unknown with me, or stick it, stick in one toe at a time like a beardless baby. Sure, we'll go all toes in. That's alright, you are welcome to view streams however you please. You can sit and lurk, you can be active, it's entirely up to you. Don't fret about Konog. You'll see that I'm right and come crawling back eventually. There's so much that we could learn here. About these ruins, living machines and 2P is the best source of the information we've got. We need to seize this opportunity while we can. So, are you coming or what? Yes. Should you give your support to Anog's approach, Konog's path will no longer be available to you. Please note, however, that your choice will not affect the rewards and challenges to come. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Anog would dive headfirst into the great unknown. I knew it. Fortune favors the bold. Where are we going? Alright, so we're traversing the whole level. But yeah, if these streams are a bit too late for you, I do have a collab stream tomorrow night. Um, so if it's 9pm for you at the moment, it'll be 7 hours from 9? So I'll put it at 4am, so that's probably even worse. devices must be part of this place. They don't seem to be particularly murderous as far, as far as things in here go. We should be able to use them to ferry us further in again. Before we go any further, you remember these odd boxes? They seem to be to enable etheric transference. If we get lost, it should be a simple matter to teleport back to the entrance once using one of these. So don't worry your pretty head about becoming trapped down here. And with that said, 
throw caution to the wind and go forth and investigate. And the and the moment, the very instant you find something of note, make sure that you show it to me. Got it? Uh, Christmas two years ago, so not last year, but the year before, I did a reading stream. But the issue with reading books on stream is a lot of books are copyright. And by streaming it, you are essentially recording the uh, book, and it makes it a bit awkward. So you've got to read books that are outside of the copyright. And I could probably still get away with it because I'm a I'm a small a small streamer, but I don't particularly want to risk it. Well, there is a whole bunch of dead robots here. They are littered. Machine Research Report 1 archived. Although I do have some plans to read some Genshin lore on stream. Broken Kick... A Kickem Bob. I normally just read comic books in my own time. I've got a whole like shelf unit filled with Marvel comics that I like to read and reread. You found something, haven't you? Well, found a broken kick em bob. Hmm. I'd bet that whatever this is, it's part of a greater whole. Let's see if we can find any other pieces. I might be able to reassemble it. If I had any ideas what it's meant to be. But yeah, I've not been big on uh, reading novels and big long books. Because I'm, I'm, I've never been particularly great at, at reading. But I still enjoy it. What this? Memory of Damaged Machine archived. A rusty Watsits. Anything behind here? There is. Tarnished thingamajig. Machine Research Report 2 archived. Wait, is this filling my collection thing? Is that what it's doing? Ah, it is. Okay. It's filling the archive. No worries, Lorax. Have yourself a good luck. See? Zone 5. See a box. Tattered flyer? Anything behind here? Haha! <laughs> Tried to hide. Weapon fragment data 4. Have you found some more parts? I have. I found several parts.
Oh, look at all these. Hard to say for sure whether we've had anything until... until we take a crack at reassembling it, of course. But it's a start. Machiney thingy me bomb. And this pod. I've been so wanting to take one of these apart. Do you hear something? Function resumed. Initiating repair process. Bloop, 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 bloop. Alert. Multiple life forms detected in proximity. Life forms would be us, I presume. Interesting. If it is still functional, there's no need for me to disassemble it. Pity. Still, I say we take it back with us. Any objections? No, of course not. So let's get on with it. Sorry about that. Oh, what's this? The broken robot. Hey, it's that boy. It's him. So, how he climbed back up here in this, in that state? Well, he climbed up here with the ladder, I presume. Well, you're the one that wanted to work on 2P. I'm sure she would say to destroy him for good. What do you say? Oh, brother. You know me too well. We take care... We take him with us. Of course, just in case. It'll be our little secret. And it's starting to, to bucket down with rain outside as well. Hey, Nog. Konog and I will be heading back out. I want to perform a proper analysis on these parts as soon as possible. I don't blame you if you want to look around a bit more first. Though, you had best to share your findings. I'm good. It's about time. You know those parts we found? Well, I've managed to cobble them together into a decent approximation of something. I was hoping that it got the basics that I got the basics right. The pod could tell us what it's meant to be, but it won't stop repeating processing and beeping at me. It worked when I when it was was analyzing us, so theoretically it should should be able to up to the task. But it seems we have to wait for it to finish whatever it is it's doing. I'm half tempted to take my tools to it, but I can't put it back together. We'll be back to square one. So patience it is. Humph. <laughs> so in the meantime, we have quite a bit of other data to analyze. So much, in fact, 
that I'm certain we'll need considerable amount of time, un uninterrupted time, to work, if you take my meaning. Well, nice, you don't have to pick it up now. It's always nice when you don't have to go pick up food. I'm telling you to keep the chief off our backs for a while. I don't care how. See that his house is on fire if you like. Or put it to the torch if you're not comfortable with lying. <laughs> He's advocating arson. Oh, okay. Homework. I don't know why I assumed it was food. My apologies. Although I did just have lunch. Lolly mysterious machines from the ruins will kill us all. Ho, oh, I suppose. Sorry, it's been a lot to take in. Did you manage to keep our local miscreants out of trouble? They're safely studying our discoveries as we speak. It's true when it comes to mechanical contraptions, but find none cleverer than those two, or more obsessive. You know, I need a moment to use my throat a bit. We have a hydrate stretch and posture check from Lorax as well. Let's get that drink in. <clears throat> Big drink. And stretch. Let's we'll sit up nice and straight as well. Like whatever I ate for lunch, like there's just something like tickling the back of the back of my throat. And just making me cough as I talk a bit. But yes, my back did pop, it cracked. It felt good. If anyone's capable of solving the mystery in these ruins, it's them. Much as I hate to say this, we should leave them to their own devices for now. It might have been my chair creak that you might have heard, I'm not sure. Because that also happened as I stretched. I'm not sure what my mic picked up though. Carnivals and confrontations. Oh, I've got hiccups now. I drank my water too fast. The dig site chief has a request for you. You should not possibly guess who it concerns. Lolly, what a conveniently timed entrance, her. I was just thinking that I ought to send someone to check on Anog and Kernog. Uh, lunch I had uh, some macaroni, cheese, and mushrooms. So I think it was uh, just some mushrooms kind of, well, all the cheese kind of clinging to the back of my throat a bit. 
and they're still poking and prodding at those watsits that you dug up in the ruins, which is all well and good until one of them sets off another explosion. Say no more. I wouldn't want anything to happen to the artifacts. Thank you. You know why they get that, like, the You know how they get when they're curious about something. Not to mention that our annual carnival is fast approaching. There's plenty that what, plenty that wants doing before we're ready. And I need those two a small, to start pulling their weight. While you're looking in on them, remind them that they have duties outside of tinkering with rusty thingamabobs. Will you? Maybe they'll listen to you doing the nagging. They seem to respect you, much as they respect anyone. Must be all the violence. Yes, I'm very violent. You'll find them in the tunnels, of course. Can't lure them out of there for the love of love for love nor money. And believe me, I've tried. <coughs> I mean, yeah, normally I don't have m uh, a big meal before stream. Normally I just have some fruit. And I'm all out of apples and bananas, so I'm going to have to pick some more up after stream or tomorrow. Ah, there you are. Can you believe this? I waited, th I waited through days of processing, broke multiple tools, and after all of that, ugh, ugh, stupid son of a hob swiving. I also, oh, I also love fruit. I also like grapes and all sorts of berries. Enog, not everyone is privy to your inner thoughts. Allow me to explain. The pod confirmed that the device grants the user access to some sort of weaponry, which presumably means that it is indeed the key of which 2P spoke. Ah, Australian mode is not the Australian accent, it is... Uh, it flips me upside down. And I'll be upside down on the top of the screen, because everyone in Australia is upside down apparently. Based on our previous experiences, we assume that it's run out of power and will require a supplementary energy source. So let's hurry up and find one. The sooner we get out the get the key working, the sooner we can pulverize our enemies. Now, just wait a moment. We aren't even certain what sort of weaponry is involved here. Even if we get the key working again, we shouldn't activate it willy-nilly. Honestly, Konog, this, this ceaseless whining of yours is why we never make any progress. It's not whining. It's being ethical and prudent. Must you two always bicker so? Hands on hips. Wait, is that blood on the ground or dirt? Yes. One way to do it. Anog would like to continue that way. What may be charitably themed and just Discussion at hand. What are we talking about? 
Ah yes, why I'm right. I agree that we still know too little about the machine life forms and androids. But that's precisely why we must seize the opportunity. If we claim the op uh, weaponries ourselves, we'll know exactly what the enemy's capabilities are. Then, and only then, can we protect the village from comparable technology. Fine, fine, I see your point. We'll be safer in the long run if we activate the weaponry sooner rather than later. Or everyone else will. I'll probably have dropped dead from trying to keep you keep up with you. Yeah, <laughs> you say that. But you're far too stubborn to die. That's why I can always count on you. You too. Most loyal and lethal assistant. Come along. We have a power source to find. These two are up to no good. It's about time. I've been considering what we need in order to power the key. A hefty chunk of crystal from a knocker ought to do it. Though, I haven't quite worked out how we'll divert its energy in our pro purpose. Koenog and I will think on that while you head over to the hollows and liberate that crystal. Find us when you're back in Korma. Alright, so we're going to go into the tunnels. I have to say it is nice when I'm flying and I'm not wearing a robe because then I don't have my bare legs flushing me in the camera. And here we go. You take out this guy. Thing, last minute things I wanted while making my model. I don't think so. I had my model pretty sorted out and um, like there was a couple of things that needed fixing the, the like when it got rigged. It was like uh, a couple layering things that got overlooked but nothing that was oh can you add this last minute. Like, I, had, I had my design I didn't really have a design set out initially is my first character uh, um, PNG that I had. It's kind of like more normal, like I had legs. And then my second PNG was a lot closer to one I have now. And then when I got my VTuber model, I had a pretty firm idea of what I actually wanted. And that was uh, about six months after I started streaming, so I didn't have a VTuber until then. Ah, you got one right? I do. He is a chunk of knocker. Perfect. Now we can run some tests. Because yeah, when I, when I got my VTuber, I wanted to make sure it was pretty much exactly as close to what I wanted so I didn't have to change it because I see all these people making changes to their VTubers all the time and I'm like no I don't want to do that I, don't, I, want, I want I want the one that I want and I'm, I'm very happy with what I've got yes yes it'll take a bit of exp uh, experimentation to get the key powered up it is science you know don't you worry though We'll have this thing in working order before you know it. While you wait, 
Why don't you take some time for yourself? Have a nap. Try some of our local delicacies. Tell the chief to go... Mm, do some sin to himself, right? Enoch Kurnog. Ah, and here's Couch. I knew you had roped him into your schemes again. They're good schemes. And anyway, you're the one who keeps sending him to check on us. I wouldn't have to if you didn't do if you didn't if if you did do the work you were assigned. The carnival won't wait for your pet projects. Oh, now they feel bad. Fine, fine. Come on, Konog. Let's get this over with. Frustrating as they are, you have to admire their enthusiasm for tinkering. If they can put up, put even a tenth of that energy towards the carnival, we'll be ready in no time. I hope you'll be able to attend. You won't have seen the like before, I assure you. Not to mention that we're eager to show your appreciation for, for your helping us with those machines. There's no better way to do it than the dwarven toast to your health. Or two dozen. Next quest. We can rebuild her. Dig site chief would have you be an active participant in Car Korma's carnival. Lolly, I knew you'd be here sooner or later, ho. You remember the carnival I told you about, don't you? MS Paint is the free drawing software that comes with all Windows systems. Um, I'll show you it real quick. Open. And then this. Yeah, so it's just this. And it just, you get your basic colors and you can draw with it with a mouse. So it's n nothing in particular, like no layers, nothing fancy. We finished preparing, which means it's nearly time to open celebrations with the unfurling of the banners. But first, we'll need an officially sanctioned bearer to present said banners to three our uh, people. And why not let you do the honors? Others are clamoring for that task. Make no mistake. It's an important and highly coveted duty. You understand. But I couldn't deprive you of this opportunity to experience Gao culture hands on. Consider it a thank you for helping Anog and Konog with blowing themselves up. From keeping them from blowing themselves up. And look sharp. We haven't got all night. I am looking the sharpest. My axe is sharp. Eccentric villager. So the role of bearer went to the outside outsider after all. Nothing you can't handle, I hope. It's not that I think the chief made a poor choice, mind. Bit of a waste, yes. But there's no better way for you to introduce yourself to the rest of the village. And wouldn't you know it? You're not so bad. Excitable villager. Ah, 
You'll be the bearer. Well, hand it over. This is what we've all been waiting for. Ah, the colors of Korma. They speak to our village, our lives, our very souls. Except this one. Never really cared for this one. Looks like it tripped halfway through the journey and from beige to yellow and fell in a ditch. That's quite rude. Time already, is it? Oh, my hands are so sweaty. Do take care now. I'd hate to be the one that drops the banner. Ew. Well done. Let's share a drink once this it once it's safely unfurled, hey? Eh? The carnival is our our way of showing appreciation to for each other. I certainly appreciate you keeping this banner from slipping away like a greased eel. I'm not sure how the banner would get away like a greased eel though. You grease up your flags. Finished, have you? Hopefully speaking with these folks helped impress upon you that that the that this wasn't just some menial errand anyone could have done. No. The slightest mishap in the banner delivery process would have spelled disaster you hear. Now without further ado, let the carnival begin. Well, that looks cool. The chicken kind of looks like rocks. Yeah, if someone changes the car of the count, it changes it until the end of stream or until someone else changes it. No need to stand here waiting for someone to give us give you more work to do. Go and witness the fruits of our labors. Revel, frolic, etc. No worries. If you need a task that badly, you can set yourself to working up an appetite. I expect you to partake heartily of our traditional cuisine, not to mention the drinks. Don't spare me these menial tasks. If I see one more streamer, I'm a streamer. And I think they mean like the ribbons. Why, if it isn't couch and run absolutely ragged and with tedious carnival duties, no doubt. I had the honor of delivering the banners. Thank you very much. Oh, and I suppose you were told it was incredibly important, weren't you? Well, try not to let it go to your head. Speaking of your head, I expect it just might explode when you see the key in action. Yes, the key. Don't tell me you've forgotten. All of this festive nonsense has been an unnecessary distraction, but Konog and I did manage to make some real progress while the chief wasn't looking. If you want the details, and I know you do, you'll have to meet us at the usual place. The last thing we need is half the village drunkenly eavesdropping. Well, if we don't want half the village eavesdropping, let's have the whole village eavesdropping. Alright, to the usual spot. Into the excavation tunnels.
Yeah, we can't use mount. Anog. There you are. Let's review our work, shall we? Doubtless you've forgotten some significant detail. As hopefully even you will recall, we require a source of energy to restore functionality to the so-called key 2P told us about. We obtained said source in the form of a knocker's crystalline carapace, though the transference of energy from crystal to key proved a challenge. Nothing that Konog and I, in our infinite wisdom, couldn't handle, however. Yeah, <laughs> you'll find your faith in it is well rewarded. Key is now fully powered, and as far as far as we can tell, functional. Well, I dare say we'll soon be capable of smiting our enemies with the press of a button. Or we would be if we had uh, the first clue of how to operate the blasted thing. Indeed, it seems the key is more complicated device than we anticipated. Thus far, we have succeeded only in making it display a series of strange glyphs. We presented these to the pod for translation, of course, but we cannot make heads nor tails of its terminology, no matter how many times we prompt it to explain. The androids appear to have an in intuitive, or at least finely honed, grasp of technology. I have no doubt that 2P would know, but... But Toopy's not working. He's no sign. He's shown no sign of miraculously awakening. That's for certain. Yeah, you, Pod. Can Toopy be revived? Analyzing Android repair sequence. Error detected. Confirming details. Damage to internal mechanism detected. Proposal. Replace the damaged part. Hmm, so with a replacement part, repair is possible. I dare say facilitating that process would prove more efficient than continuing our own fruitless experimentation with the key. I would hardly call wandering the factory for days on end, with the barest idea of what sort of part we're looking for efficient. So unless our friend here just happens to stumble upon a room filled with android corpses ripe for harvesting. Uh, yeah, the corpse room. That's a thing. We, we saw one before. Odd, but superlative. You will take us there at once. We'll bring Pod too. It can tell us if any of the androids still have the part we need. Onward! Let's chat mode in say. Enter the any phrase containing anog near the destination within the copied factory. Oh, there's a there's a box here. Expedition log one. Hey, another box. Expedition Log 2. Jump our way over. Secret over here. Claim that. Expedition log three.
We take the pod transport. Passage to zone one, we don't want zone one. Because we're in zone two. It is absolutely chucking it down uh, down outside. So much water. Hey, another crate. Grab that. Weapon fragment data one. So destination. And then we need to type. And nog. There we go. Over here is it, Konog? Pod. Stop dallying. How disturbing. The color of their garb is different, but they know but they do appear to be the same make as 2P. Which means ghoulish or not, we can make use of them. This is truly excellent, Kronog. My understanding is that Pod should be able to salvage the correct part and initiate the repairs. Let's see. Must we instruct it every single time? Go on, Pod. Fix 2P. They are two different colours. We've got a blue eye and an amber eye. Did it work? I think it did. She rises. Complete quest. Everything you know is wrong. The glee in Anog's eyes is at the sight of 2P's awakening could only be born of keen self-interest. It would not be wise to keep her waiting. <laughs> Sweet success. Let's not waste any more time about it. 2P, do you remember what happened? I, I was damaged in combat, and you brought me here. And then you wild, then you wildly inconvenienced us by dying on the table. Yes. I have played this game before, on a different account, but uh, all of this account's progress has been done on stream. Fortunately for you, we were clever enough to pick up pod here and by the fact that you were having this conversation i assume it succeeded in repairing the damage i see you locate the key as i instructed Oof. despite how little information we had to go on we did it's fully operational as far as we can tell, so can you use it? Mm. 
It's doing the tech thing. Oh, what did you do? What? An earthquake? Everyone, outside. Now. Statues. The mountain. What happened to the mountain? The mountain got blamored. This isn't... Enog, look. It's more cute robots. GP, no. There are too many. Worry for me? Don't be. Wait, they can change their colors. What is the meaning of this? It means that your assistance is no longer necessary. Wait, have you tricked us? That's not cool. Oh, the black version and a white version. your way then. See the world, it's see this world to its end. Alright, time to destroy 2P. Oh no, she just runs away. I know I worried, but I thought she was our friend. She used as Android in black. And who are you? If your dress about is your dress about to turn white, because if so, I'm about to destroy you. I am your number two type number two type B unit. But you may call me 2B. I'm here to destroy the androids in white. We can discuss this later. Right now, we have to stop 2P. The mountain blew up. I mean, we can see inside the mountain. I wonder if we can see inside the mountain as yeah, it blew up. Oh, we can. Oh, that's cool.
Can't fly in there though. Still a wall. There's like a whole like satellite in there. Alright, let's queue for Puppet's Bunker. Average wait time of 15 minutes. Um, so let's load up our, our queue time killer game. We need to not play in background. And let's load up Dwarf Romantic. I'll pop up that. And that so that we can see when the duty spawns. Okay. This game. All right. So we've got, yeah, the duty said it would be about 15 minutes for duty. Hopefully it's not that long, but you never know. We've got half, half field, half planes goes there well. Over here maybe. Fits there. Nothing over this way really. I think it's going to go up here. It could fit there. Let's put it over here, I think. And this is a busy tile. It's field, forest, field, forest, field, house. I don't think I've got anywhere where that's going to fit nicely. I don't want to just trash this tile. Not a nice tile. Can I put it somewhere somewhat useful? If I extend it out this way. Let's do that. Now we have railway it can be either railway or water it if it's up here nicely and here we've got field on three sides and open on another three Does fit there. Don't think it's anywhere else is going to go well. Yeah, let's put it up here. We get some houses. A bit of field. Let's put you there. An all forest. Alright, all forest can go up this way. Right up there. A river with a bit of forest. Fits perfectly there. Oh, this piece is gross. It's river and river and railway. The river can match up with plains, so that's not so bad. So we can put you there. Yeah, 
fuses. Matches there. A three way rail. I guess you can go there then. Or here. Put you there. Else in lake. What can be field? Actually, that fits pretty well. Put you there. We got double field. Double forest, double lake. Oh, that's the wrong way around for there. There we go, that fits in nicely there. And all field. Fit. Whatever, anywhere. I could put you there, but that's going to make it really hard for here. That makes it difficult. Right, I think we're going to put it over here. Land, bunch of forest. There we go. And this one wants to be next to fifty fifty fields. So I think maybe I will put it there. How you doing, Adige? Yeah, I'm just playing a bit of Dwarf Romantic while I wait for my my Final Fantasy queue to happen. Mm, that fits nicely there. Forest. I am doing well. I've got a bit of a cough. I keep coughing up phlegm. I hope I'm not coming down with anything. That fit in there? It does fit in there. And like the cubes can take anywhere from like almost instant to like 20, 30 minutes. Like it really depends on like who's queuing at the time. But because we're doing Alliance raids and I only have tank available, it takes a little bit longer than a lot of others would. Because only three tanks out of the 24 players can can go in as tank. Now if it's there. Sure, we can put that in there. Does fit there. The wrong way around for there. It's 
missing a tree to fit there properly. That one's got the tree on the wrong side. Again, tree on the wrong side. Alright, I think it's going to go down here. Houses, many houses. With a little bit of forest. And it wants to connect to other houses. I guess we connect up here. Trees on three sides. Do we have somewhere we want three trees on three sides? We do, but we want a house in there. And I think the next tile is going to go there. We'll put that there. And that just fits perfectly there. Nice, we got some perfects. And a near... Oh, nearly. No field on that side. forest as well. Ah, oh, almost. Let's put you there. House with a river and field. Could have been good. Alright, I think it's going to go over here. Right there. In a four-way, three-way split of river. Put it there. And some track. Alright, track where you're gonna go. You don't have a lot of spaces you can go. It's probably gonna go there. Or this way. Be there. Alright, forest with a little house in the middle. side of house which makes it difficult. Everywhere I've got doesn't want to have a house surrounded by forest. Maybe it just goes up here. Yeah, I think here. So now I can connect the houses later. Forest and field. We've got some opens. So I think there. That doesn't quite work there. This works. Yeah, we'll put that there. 
We've got river. We can put that here. And then lake. There we go, we can put that there. Get some more perfect. Oh, where, where did this go? Oh, that was almost exactly what I want there. We need more fields on these sides here. up here. Nope, not there. It doesn't want to connect easily. Maybe it just goes here. Is oh, almost exactly for, almost. We can push it in here. So this is field on four sides with houses on two. fields. It does fit there. It's going to make this river near impossible to do properly though. But we can also put it here. No, it doesn't quite connect there. Alright, let's put it here. Some houses with some grassland and big lake. Let's put you here, I guess. And forest on all sides, and off it there. Houses splitting in awkward ways. Where the houses up here want to work? Well, actually, that works alright. Actually, that works even better. Forest on two sides. Fits in there. Also fits in there. That doesn't really fit. Oh, it's got forest on three parts. Grassland, house, field. It's going to want to connect up neatly to anything I've got. Maybe. Oh, it does. Well, that connects up. Perfect. Hmm. 
Right, I think we put you there. We've got another curved railroad coming up as well, which is all plain. Do I connect this up with the water instead and ignore the railroad? Don't think I can. I would love to put it that there, but it's, the house just makes it awkward. Let's put you here. No. Let's do that. And then we'll bring this one out. Houses. There we are, that fixes there. We've got a railway with trees. I think I'm just going to put that there. Oh, this is almost the piece I need here, but we need one more field there. dumb. I missed my duty. I wasn't paying attention to the, to the noise. It's too engrossed. I know what I did wrong. Uh, I did the wrong thing. That needs to stay. Background music needs to turn off. Oops. Alright, so we've still got sound effects. But I didn't miss the sound, I just it just didn't play for me. Alright, so I'm a bit of a dumb and missed the cue. Alright, railroad. That fits nicely there. Don't want a railroad going in there. Alright, so we've got forests. So if anyone asks about if I ever miss cues, the answer is always no. I, I, I did it deliberately, absolutely deliberately. And then that goes there. And that fits in nicely there. We've got an all water tile coming up next. Now if we get a railroad straight, we can put it in there, and it terminates the railroad. That fits perfectly there. Our forest. And it wants to be connected to a bunch of trees. Like that. with a little bit of forest. Sure, we'll put that in there. Hmm. You know, with a little 
little house in a little forest. It's an awkward piece. So if it does fit there, sure, let's do it. Oh, what is this monstrosity? Um, I guess we put that there. We'll just have the rail network just explode outwards. that there. And this wants to connect to fields. Well, that is so close to being exactly where I want there, but not quite. There we go, that connects to house and field. Forest. And that can go... Oh, that's not good, because then it cuts off the houses. Let's put you here, let's connect you up. Oh, it's that piece we've been looking for. It goes right there. More rails. Let's connect you up. Forest with a bit of field, and you can go right there. Water. Big field, uh, four field, with a tiny house. is on the wrong side. What if we... Find Fenangle, no. Fenangles do not want to happen. Let's put that there. Kind of forces a lot in there, but we'll make do. Got a bunch of river. And that can come out there. A little bit of forest with some houses.
I just realized I've had my mic muted. I don't know for how long. Alright, so I'm going to call the game there. Um, it was 40 minutes and we didn't get a queue. It's been, we had one tank and six DPS at the end. And we're just going to, going to end there. Let's find someone to raid into. Raid into go raid into Honeycub. Uh, she is a fierce bear. Maybe raid messages, and she's only just starting, um, starting stream. So yeah, no disappointing that we couldn't get that raid done. Uh, we'll try again next week. Thank you everyone for joining me today and for putting up with me having my mic muted for goodness knows how long. Tomorrow we have a late night stream with Ultra Velka playing some Lego Star Wars. Until then, have yourself a wonderful rest of your night. Remember to keep it comfy. Take care everyone.